In my last video, I looked at environmental factors which affect a company. This used the PESTEL framework. If you're looking internally at a company and how a company's run, a good framework to use would be SWOT. A SWOT analysis looks at the strengths, the weaknesses, the opportunity, and the threats that affect a company. Just a quick disclaimer before we begin, this is not financial advice. Please always do your own research before you take a position. I'll go through a quick example of SWOT analysis. So very quickly, we've got SWOT analysis here, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. So for your strengths, you want to capitalize. So you want to capitalize on your strengths. For your weaknesses, you want to minimize. You want to minimize your weaknesses. For your opportunities, you want to exploit. You want to exploit your opportunities. And threats, you want to defend against threats. When you're selecting a company, you want to, a company which capitalizes on its strengths, minimizes its weaknesses, exploits any opportunities it gets, and defends itself very well against threats. Let's work through an example. Let's pick Nike. Nike as a company. So their strength is they've got a very strong brand. A strong brand. They are competitively priced. Competitively. Priced. So the strengths, let's say the weaknesses. A big one here could be labor laws. In the past, Nike have come under scrutiny for their labor practices. So for opportunities, you could say emerging markets. Markets represents a massive opportunity for them. They already have a big brand, but just to penetrate those markets could be huge. So another opportunity could be their app. In their app, you can purchase trainers directly from Nike, cutting out those, um, those retailers and increasing their profit margin. Threats, there's always a lot of competition. And arguably, arguably this is growing. And there's always um, imitation products, I suppose, like copies. So counterfeits. So counterfeits, so just to recap here, uh, you want to build on your strengths. So capitalize your strengths. You want to minimize your weaknesses, you want to exploit your opportunities, and you want to defend your threats. So using Nike as an example here, they have a very strong brand. They are competitively priced. They have had controversies in the past with regards to labor laws, so that's not working in their favor. So for opportunities, there's plenty of opportunity in emerging markets. Uh, they have their app, which is good as well, and they can exploit that further and develop that area of the market. Threats, they have lots of competition and there are always going to be threats of counterfeits as their brand and their product is so strong. If you like that video, please remember to like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Um, I have other videos on the channel as well. Check those out. This one over here looks at pestle analysis. That's an environmental analysis. And this one over here talks about book value and how to calculate that. Very important when you are choosing a company.